Look, it's Leo Shang. How's it going, bro? Good. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about that. We got the whole team, man. Yeah, you're right. Nice to meet you, man. All right, all right. I heard about the so-called trailer. You know, I thought it was funny, man. I all, I watched the channel for quite a while, right? Oh, you have? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Thank you. Oh, no, I found your guard video a long time ago, man. Oh, yeah, you're right. Right, and I always thought that the name of the channel was who, M Who's Fishing. Yeah. We're from the Who's, man. Well, I, I, it was your last name. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I am from the hood. It's just... Right on, man. Okay, so if you're not familiar with where I'm at, possibly you're a new viewer, this is by St. John in the heart of New Orleans. And this is Leo Singh, the heart of extreme Philly fishing. Hey, fellas. He came all the way to New Orleans uh, here in December to catch a cichlid of all things. Well, I think there were other fish on your list, but you want to catch a real grand cichlid. Absolutely. You like challenges, because that's a challenging thing to do in December, but we're going to get it done. But there's also another form of cichlid, another variety here, another species of uh, tilapia. Really? They're a new, a new thing in the bayou, so we're gonna try for them too, and then we're gonna move on to some other things, cause we're we got a Leo all day. So that sounds like a great plan. Let's do it. Yeah, you're right. So we're on the move. That spot back there didn't have much to offer. Water's really clear and it's really still. So we're looking for different kinds of cover, and we're in an area where we always find cichlids holding. But we don't want to spook them until we're up on the trail. We're going to walk around these signs here. We're going to start fishing real soon. We're at the Esplanade Bridge, still on the bayou, still looking for cichlids and others. That's a good one. He knocked the dust off it. Good for you. That's your second one this morning, isn't it? Yes, yeah, second oh, he one. He swallowed this that. He inhaled oh, that. He swallowed that. Yes, man. he did. I'm gonna rip it off, but he, he swallowed you. We're in City Park now, just across from the Esplanade Bridge. This is called Big Lake. Our museum is right behind me. All right, look at that. That's a avocado chartreuse jig. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, bass through there. Oh my God! So much luck. Usually, when something dumb like that happens to me, the fish is gone. <laughs> yeah, just using a little chocolate, a little crappie jig. Nice little large mouth, not very big at all. I'm gonna let him go, lickety split. Go home. There we go. Redeeming yourself, huh, Mark? Yeah, the kids are gonna tear that up. Oh, yeah. Come on, Alan, now you, you have to redeem yourself now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there is a lot of bass activity right here by this bridge. Like, that was a bass. So, we now know that Russia hasn't been here. I think the reason why fishing was so bad in Bayou St. John is because Russia must have hacked Bayou St. John. Or it's Pizzagate or something, but... Dude, I just had a bad two swings on my door and me. Yeah, you, you've had a couple of bites and... Well, we're going to mess around with these bass and we'll show you if we get a few more, and then we're gonna go for some sugar and coffee. Oh, nice. Small one. We're about past. Nailed it. Nailed the jig head, fellas. Yeah, you're right. All right, game over for me. At least I got one back here down in Louisiana. At least one, right? Right. Man. We're here all day, so hopefully we can do more 
more than that and better than that. Very smooth, a very malnourished fast too, man. Oh. Yeah, this was damn stupid. It's Russia. <laughs> Russia came and took the shad. Another nice one. Yeah, really, there's, I barely felt the bite. I just felt, uh... There we go, yep. man. That looks game over for you now, huh? Yeah. Why are you getting right here, man? So this is the, uh, it's, it's called like a triple tail grub. Triple tail grub. That's the first bass for, for today, right? First fish at all today. First fish at all, man. At least, the way you guys look back at our new clothes, but at least all of us caught at least one fish today, you know? Absolutely. And that accounts for something, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And keep hunting the bigger one. Oh yeah. Nice one. Yeah, nice little bag on the ultralight. Four pound bag. No, don't jump, don't jump. Come down here. Yeah. Oh, you got a good sucker. That is a good that's the best one out of here so far this morning. City Park fishing right here. There we go, huh? Look at that. Go so back where we can all stay. It's a job around here. Yes. my area. Now we're going for beignets here soon. There we go. Another nice little one. Nice little one there. City Park at least. What's the nice one? Yeah, this spot rarely disappoints. You can always find small bass here. They're just tons of them, so you can knock the... I'm just curious about it, right? You shoot it? I mean, do a lot of kids come here to City Park to fish? Yeah. Oh yeah, lots of them? Mm -hmm. So this is like a good spot for the kids to come, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. With their, uh, there are teenagers who come here to fish for bass in the afternoon, and families come here. It's a family-oriented place. So is the park of Bayou St. John, and we're going to like a really popular place for families to go crabbing later on. Whoa! All right, that's that's it. That's enough. You're catching too many, more than us. You're gonna have to go get coffee now. And we're gonna go to a worse place than this. Oh man! Now we're gonna catch a few more, and we're gonna catch a few more. It's the gulf man. This thing works. Are you using a gulf? Yeah. Anything with like. Anything with chartreuse on it here. If you guys want more, I have it here on my back. It. Yeah, you're right. Are you just swimming it or are you uh bouncing? small one sixteen or one what sixteen do you have? Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess yeah, just steady with three with two fifty. Yep. Try one. Oh look at that. Yeah, because those gulf they got the smell. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa. fish on? No, it's the bottom again. Oh, man. Nice. nice. Oh, where are you going, Baz? Oh, come back here. Take it easy, fish. Easy now, easy now. I'm going to release it. I might have to switch to that Berkeley Gulp Minnow. Oh, man, yeah, the Gulp Minnow is going good. There's wiping it, you know. It is a nice, a little, a little bigger yeah, than the last one you had. Put a gold middle under the float, working a flare style here, fellas. There you go, that's another nice one. Yeah, I'm going to take your spot. Oh. Whoa! Oh, man. Damn, the action's good here with these bands, man. I took his spot, first cast. <laughs> I, I, nice. It just hit the bottom, I picked it up, and boom, and here he was. It's the magic of the gold minnow, man. Not big, but. Wow, dude, this one's fat. Yeah. I don't know what he's been eating, but. He's been at Pizzagate. This one here's an obese, obese bass, man. Backing up, backing up on food for the water right now. Well, they really can tear these minnows up. Oh yeah, they love it. They love it. Nice catch, man. Right. Right. Whoa. Nice. 
nice. He wants to jump. We got some size here. Oh yeah, the, ooh, nice ooh, fish. Yeah. Nice jump. It is nice. Ooh, yeah, nice catch, man. Yeah, I got the ultra light going too. Oh <laughs> every once in every piece is good on the ultra light, man. A lot of fun. That thing. He is barely that hooked. Good job. Man, smack it. Ooh, the sun just came out for a second. Feel that? Just barely peeking out of the clouds. It's amazing. Thought I would never see the sun today. On. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Man, when they are feeding, the action is good. Well, it's because it's a. There's a front coming in tomorrow too. And we had a front come in over the weekend. So that was three days ago. So we had three days of a, of a warming and now the fish are on fire. And tomorrow night is gonna cool off again as that front comes through to be like 47. Whoa, let's let you go home. Good stuff. See you later. <laughs> Under the float, man. Oh, look at that. There's your like two and a half pounder, maybe. <laughs> a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's still. Oh, he's a nice sized mouth. That's a beautiful looking bass. Oh, he's a bit over a pound. Nice, nice catch here. Wow. Ready to go. So this is morning call. We're just taking a beignet and coffee break. We're still in the park. But here pretty soon we'll get back to the fishing. Biggest pink fish I've ever seen in my life, man. That is really, really big. Caught a lot of them in Florida, you know, some in North Carolina, but this size here? Oh man. Hey, you want to tell us what you're doing? Let's see that for crawfish. I think that's perfect. Bait, yeah. So we're back on the bayou, and he just like caught a pinfish. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, you're right. We're at 17th Street Canal. Bluegill. Yeah. It's a nice size one. So it is now after four, and it's getting dark, the system's coming through. The cloud coming down from the main clouds looks kind of menacing. Almost like a, not quite like a funnel. So we're starting to get more interesting bites. We're still getting bites out of here. The boy's been catching sunfish out of there. We got two lines. Alex has got one, and Leo's got one too, both on shrimp. I've got one further out on worm, and we both, Alex and myself, picked up bites out in deeper water midway in the canal on worm and on shrimp, and then Leo just got a bite on the shrimp. And the storm is coming through, the air just dropped temp. It's colder now. You see all these dark clouds above us? The sun is peeking out behind us, putting a bit of light over there. The guys are worried about thunderstorms. I'm not too worried. Here we go. I finally got a fish out from under there. Ha 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 ha! I'm so sorry. No way. No way. You got to get back at it, bro. Oh, dude, no kidding. Damn, son. Lucky fella. Well, at least we got to see a cichlid today. They exist. Man, 
What? We're getting close to sunset. And you know what, man? I gotta start throwing my knife all again. Wow, but there you go, one beautiful fish. The closer man. we get to sunset, the little more of the activity is ramping up. So, in that little ray of sunlight, there's my first cichlid of the day. In the hood, one. Stream Philly fishing, nil. <laughs> Whoa! Damn, dude. Let me take a photo of you and the cichlid for Instagram. No, no, I don't want that. That's too small to keep. Uh, okay. You, you let him go. This time he didn't swallow the hook. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta keep at it. Sick one video. Hell yeah. If I can get one out of there, you surely can. Oh man, I just pulled. Yeah, we're in a rush because we're losing the light. It's gonna get dark, and out of the two of us, Allison and myself, we find that cichlid fishing shuts down and slows down when it gets dark but we're gonna bebop when it gets dark and get, go to a new spot just for another fish <laughs> i was like oh man that's it's nice yeah we're gonna let that go it's a little little, little bit too small it's a, it's a cast fish well, it's not a cichlid, that's for sure. It's honestly now a mixed species video. It is, it is. It's, mm. a, it's a channel cat. Yeah. There's a little, little channel cat. Hey, my first one ever from, uh, from Louisiana. Ah, that, it's too small. I think it's under 12 anyway. They gotta be 12. Yeah. Man, it is starting to rain if you can't tell. If this gets worse or keeps like this, we're going to have to high tail left the rain gear in the car. Too much rain and a train is on the tracks. Got to bebop to the next spot. Maybe the rain will stop by then. Well, we just finished our final bebop. And now this is our final spot. This is where we're going to fish. You might not recognize it if you're new to the channel. This is Spanish Fort. This is the sleuth gate, that's the pump house. And you know, this is in hood fishing and here on in his hood fishing, a lot of time is spent here and it's open. I'm so happy I, I, I could do a cookie monster fit. <clears throat> it, it's got current, there's fish popping around. So what we're hoping to do here is like treat our good friend Leo to some brackish trash fishing and specks. We hope to get a few speckled trout out of here tonight, maybe. And you know, we're gonna like be going for ladyfish and spot croaker and maybe we'll get some freshwater species out of here tonight too. The lake is over there, that's uh, what's up. Oh jeez, man, that's a eel. Now that is what I call multi-species right there, dude. Huge American eel. Wow. Yeah, it's super huge, but God dang it. Yeah. Not surprised. Come on, go home. Go home. <laughs> Come on, don't be an eel, man. Don't be an eel. I got an eel. What the hell is this? Little cat. Now, the main question is what type of cat? It's a bullhead, isn't it? Let me, let me see here. Your a bullhead. Yeah, what type of bullhead is it? Uh, white catfish maybe? No, we don't have white catfish here. Oh, you don't have white catfish here? No, that's a, it's a brown, right? I believe so. Oh, you guys have brown bullhead around here? Yeah, we have brown. Gotcha, so yeah, it's gotta be a brown bullhead because of the barbers down here. Is, is this like no, this a little trick? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I'm yeah, being sarcastic. <laughs> I thought, it was like a extreme Philly trick there. <laughs> Looks like you got something on. It's a channel catfish. There's no channel cat. You're lucking out with the little channels. Yeah. Look at this. 
What do I got here? I got a little clock croaker. Oh, no. Another little cat. Oh, little cat. Hey, very cool. Why is that cat so skinny? Little panel cat. Hey, skinny, but he's just a youngin', a little one. He's got a. He's gonna get bigger. Pretty. Pretty little thing. What a size for Aberdeen. Put this little sucker good. There we go. Go home, little few. I barely felt him. He was like a little feather tickle. It's a menhaden that I foul hook. Go home, little feet. I can't carry them on the plane. I bought them at Walmart when I came here because oh. of those sharp objects. Yeah. There's this thing here that I want to give you too because I can't. Give me the plane, boss! Give me the plane! Or I'll get you with my spring! Oh, look, this I bought at Walmart too, kind of multi tool kind of thing. I can't use it, I can't bring it on the plane too because it has a little knife. Man, you're the best! <laughs> person to fish with, dude. Look at oh, all yeah, this. Yeah, dude, yeah, thank you. I love the color. It, it wasn't expensive, by the way, just so you know, you know. I bought the cheapest thing. This was like three bucks, and this was like 125 each. Yeah, oh, it's, it's not you like know. a big waste. But yeah, I would hate to just throw it away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same thing with the knife crawlers, if you want it here. I don't know, man. You make use of it. If you want to just throw it away, just bait, you know? I'll it's make my here. enemies eat them. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I mean, I, oh, here. I had a really great time. Though the rain is trying to come back, it's like 7:40. You know, we caught some fish. A lot of you probably think, "Oh, those are all garbage fish." Blah blah blah. Well, <laughs> the heck with you and what you think. I had a great time. I really enjoyed fishing with my friend Leo. Very good time. And my good friend Alex. You know, I hope you enjoyed fishing with me, people. So we gotta go because we're getting wet, and I still gotta ride home. See you next time.